Spring break is here, and for many, it means going to the beach. But of course, we just got through the holidays, and some of us don't quite have the spring break bods that we were hoping we would around this time. And we need to get back in the fitness groove. So we have the folks that are going to get us there with tips on fitness as well as health. We have this, this with us this morning, Jeremy Arind. We have our the membership advisor at the Honolulu Club, and Sarah Johnson, Group X director at the Honolulu Club as well. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Okay, so spring break, you know, now's yeah. the time that a lot of us are starting to show off the bods, and yeah. maybe some of us aren't there quite yet, but hey, now's the perfect time to get ready for summer. So what yeah. do you suggest? Where do people start? Um, there's a lot of simple things you could be doing that don't require you to have to go to the gym necessarily. Stuff that you could do at home, uh, at the office, um, so even outside too. So that's kind of what we wanted to show people that you don't necessarily have to make that 100% commitment of having to go to a gym just right. to try and get healthier. Okay, and, and how do, like, where would you start? How do you prepare for getting in shape? Yeah, good question. So, um, usually you want to start, like, just with, like, the bigger muscle groups. So, we have Sarah here. She's going to help us with some demonstrations for people to see. Uh, Sarah, if you want to come right up here. So, probably, like, the first thing that we always like to work on, like, in, a lot of people are always conscious about their lower body. So, squats are a really good um, mm -hmm. exercise you could do that require, like, no additional weights. You can just do it just like she's doing right there. Um, they're obviously going to work like your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes, um, and that there's always some modifications you can do to it based off your own fitness kind of aspirations or limitations. So um, it's a great exercise you can always do some modifications on. And how, what do you recommend for people to do it? To do continuing reps? Do you, do you rest in between? What's the best way to do squats? So it, honestly, it's all at your own subjective kind of like. Um, like what you're capable of doing mm -hmm. really so you could do isometric holds uh, you could just do plyometric work too so those are fancy yeah. names <laughs> yeah so it really just depends on, on what you're trying to do uh, the main thing is you always want to start off like simple just to make right. sure that your body could handle just like the the, the fundamentals of the exercise right. as you get stronger and better then yeah definitely try and do some different things to, to keep the body kind of guessing what you're doing okay yeah. and you were saying you know you want to really target some of those bigger muscles what other exercises should we do to target different areas of the body yeah so obviously you have upper lower body kind of like uh, different parts uh, so push-ups would be like another exercise we can go ahead and like demonstrate for us and, and this is a good one too because you can modify it as well but form is very important can we talk about the form as she does this as yeah, well yeah so uh, Right now she's doing it from the knees because that's going to probably be the easiest way for a lot of people to try and work on doing the push-ups. That's how um, I do them. <laughs> yeah. And as you get a little bit better at it, you could come up onto your toes. And you want to keep the back flat as possible. Um, and then hand placement is important too. Uh, you could be shoulder width just to keep it kind of simple. Um, and then going from upper body to core strength. So if you want to demonstrate a plank. So this is a plank right here, and the plank's great because it's just an isometric hold on the entire portion of the core. So uh, people are always familiar with doing like sit-ups, um, but the plank is another one you could do. And if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you lift up one foot for me, Sarah. Ooh, you so, go, girl! So now you are kind of targeting the core, but you're switching it up by incorporating different muscles. Wow! Yeah. Oh, and I already, I feel Thank like you, if that was me, I would be shaking at that point. Okay, yeah. and My abs are working. And we're yeah. talking, of course, exercise, so important, but yeah. also the nutritional aspect about it. Yeah, and that's where Sarah's. She's really good with nutrition. She'll go ahead and chime in on that. Okay. Yeah. What What are some tips, definitely, to help with weight loss? So a great place to start is eating breakfast. That's going to get you fueled at least to start the day. Um, uh, breakfast should incorporate fats, carbs, and proteins. So each um, three of those nutrients are going to be broken down at different speeds. So you want to have that steady burn throughout the day. That's going to help avoid energy crashes and also stabilize your blood sugar, which will um, aid in weight loss. Okay, and then real quick, just a couple of healthy snacks that we could eat throughout the day. So healthy snacks, you want to avoid sugars because sugars are going to add to that up and down. And um, the, so you want to focus on fats and proteins. Good examples of that are avocados, nuts, hard-boiled eggs, maybe celery with peanut butter, just snacks that you can grab easily throughout awesome. the day. Awesome. And all of those are so good, too. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us this you. morning. Those are great exercises as well as health tips. All right. Well, hey, all those are exercises you can do at home. So get down on your floors right now. Start working out. We'll be right back with more.